What's going on guys and welcome back to another episode of the German Bear Podcast and today we got the big first film room of the 2024 new league year for the Chicago Bears after they splashed big on day one in free agency with signing DeAndre Swift to a three year deal. <laughs> The Chicago Bears were stacking up the running back room at day one of the 2024 free agency with signing DeAndre Swift to a three-year deal and I'm so excited for this player. There's so much we're going to talk about in today's film room analyzing what he's going to bring to the Chicago Bears but before we want to do that let's get right into the contract details. It's a three-year 24.5 million dollar deal. 15.3 million of those 24.5 million are guaranteed and he's going to average about 8 million dollars a year now this is something we're going to discuss at the conclusion of today's video but for me this is still a pretty good deal for a running back that is going to add a lot of value to the Chicago Bears offense and compared to some other running back deals I think this is a really great value for the Chicago Bears so with DeAndre Swift the Chicago Bears are going to get a phenomenal addition to the running back room who's going to be the leader of that room with great complementary backs behind him but with that being said, so excited about this signing by the Chicago Bears and Ryan Poles and let's get right into the film room and talk about how good DeAndre Swift actually is and how he fits into Shane Waldron's new offense. <laughs> And we want to start off today's film with talking about how good DeAndre Swift is, obviously. So starting off, one thing that absolutely popped off tape right away, just like with Kevin Byard yesterday, is versatility. With DeAndre Swift, it really doesn't matter if it's an inside zone run, outside zone, gap scheme, a counter, or if he's lined up at receiver and receiving screens. DeAndre Swift, with the ball in his hands, is a versatile weapon that you can use in multiple spots at the offense. And this is something that obviously adds versatility. That's something that adds value to an offense. So that's a big point I want to point out here right away. Now for the big first topic that we want to talk about today, it's his elusiveness. Talking about speed, eyes, decisiveness, this is what really strikes out of tape. To the gap, he's really patient, and through the gap, he can really burst and then make some people miss. I mean, he's had some incredible spin moves on tape that he was showing out. He was making people miss left and right with juke moves, and it was just really impressive to see on tape. There's a couple of plays I want to go into in depth against the Kansas City Chiefs. One was in a GT counter variation play where he has blockers out in front of him, and on this play, it really requires... The DeAndre Swift to be patient and staying behind his blocks and he does that with perfection on that play and then additionally as soon as he's past his blockers there's going to be three to four guys that try to tackle him and he makes all of them miss with some insane moves as I said a really good spin moves there as well and what I love on this play is just really the burst through the gap and then the ability to make some guys miss the patience behind the blockers so that was a great example of a run for DeAndre Swift and then another one against the same team the Kansas City Chiefs in the same game he was lined up actually at Z receiver which is really exciting and he gets an H jet on that play so he really gets the chance to stretch the field and man he does on that play he stretches the field at the beginning of the play and then has really good eyes and sees a cutback lane back into the inside of the field and then does so and then makes people miss again and you can just see that home run speed right there just getting away from players making the miss being elusive and just being a playmaker and that's something the Chicago Bears or kind of lacking because Khalil Herbert is a good player with the ball in his hands but he's not really elusive he's like a one speed guy that is not as shifty when he gets into the open field and Roshan Johnson is more of a trucking back but DeAndre Swift is a complete package back and the big first strength as I said is the elusiveness as we now want to move on to the second aspect for today's video which is definitely his power and I mean a lot of people probably compare DeAndre Swift with a more shifty back or think he's a more shifty back but man when you see him lower his shoulder it's going to pop some pads and some helmets and it's going to be loud he has both abilities which is a strong aspect why I love this pickup so much by the Chicago Bears and he doesn't shy away from getting into contact and lowering his shoulder he looks for contact and for demolition 
Nation and that's something I really really like coming out of his tape and then also important with his power comes patience to the gap once again and then fast and powerful through the gap and he can really drag guys forward you saw that on tape a couple of times in the red zone in short down situations obviously the Eagles mostly use Jalen Hurts for those downs as well that's why the touchdown numbers are not as high as they should be with DeAndre Swift but that's absolutely fine with me and then the last big thing that we want to look into in today's film room episode is actually his catching ability and what I can say for strength sports catching first and foremost his route running is really good for running back obviously the routes are pretty limited but whenever DeAndre Swift is on angle routes option routes shoots into the flats or also on screens he's running down really cleanly and getting his hips lowered for good traction and on the field and just getting some good plays out of those routes and also really good hands I think he caught every ball that I saw thrown his way on tape today so that's really impressive and then he's just also a very versatile player in the passing game he lined up out wide he lined up in the backfield and he's very smart as well recognizing his own coverage and working into the open spaces one play where that out to perfection is against the New York Jets where he has actually an option route and it's depending on the zone and how the hook to curl defender and his flat defender the linebacker plays it and in this case the Eagles do a great job of creating a choice for uh, DeAndre Swift with stretching the field around him and giving him the option actually and Swift does a correct read here on this play really good catch breaks it into the inside and then also has a great break tackle here for a touchdown just getting into the end zone so this is a great example of him doing a good job here but there's multiple ways where he actually showed out there was also a play where he's lined up at wide receiver and just getting a bubble screen and turning it up the field for a couple of eight nine ten yards so it's really cool to see that they used him as a movable piece and I want to see that in Chicago as well because you pay him a little bit of money here so you really should use him as well and I think that's definitely what's going to happen with Shane Waldron so that's really Really, really exciting with DeAndre Swift as well as we now already get into the conclusion for today's video talking overall what I think of the DeAndre Swift signing and overall today in today's film room we excluded blocking because that would have required more tape study because mostly on those passing plays I was watching he was actually straight up getting out onto routes so blocking is excluded in today's tape study but still that should give us a pretty good look at what DeAndre Swift is actually offering to the Chicago Bears offense now first of all compared to the market value that we've seen today I think Saquon Barkley got a deal of around 12 million today for me eight million dollars for DeAndre Swift is absolutely great and a good value deal for the Chicago Bears you're not massively overpaying for a position that you should definitely look out for because the Bears are not the strongest in a running back room yes you have a solid run game but having a versatile weapon like DeAndre Swift is going to elevate the offense and especially for probably a very young quarterback quarterback coming in and Caleb Williams this is a perfect weapon to start off your young NFL career with also for his contract he's only 25 years old and has not a lot of mileage on his back he was not used as much in his tenure with the Detroit Lions his first feature back role was with the Philadelphia Eagles and he absolutely excelled at that he had his first Pro Bowl appearance over 1,000 yards on the season and was absolutely banging the rock in Philadelphia and looked great there and I think that's only going up from here he's just entering his prime as I said has not a lot of mileage on his back which is great unlike these other highly paid running backs like Josh Jacobs or uh, Saquon Barkley so for me those four millions of difference between the 12 million for Saquon Barkley and 8 million for DeAndre Swift is absolutely okay for me and a really good deal by Ryan Poles to start off this free agent period for the Chicago Bears and yeah just overall I absolutely love the signing of DeAndre Swift I think it's a great addition to the offense it's going to be very exciting he's a scheme versatile player it doesn't matter really in which scheme he plays so he fits immediately into the outside zone scheme of the Chicago Bears as well but if they want to try something different during the season he's able to run it as well so that's obviously very good too and for me overall this year's draft class is also not really great so you get a sure thing here that is still young in DeAndre Swift and doesn't have a lot of tread on the tires so that's a big upside move by the Chicago Bears I love it and I cannot wait to see what happens next with Ryan Poles and the Chicago Bears in free agency and with that being said that's the end of the episode guys I hope you've enjoyed it definitely let me know in the comments down below what you think of the Chicago Bears signing DeAndre Swift to a three-year deal like and subscribe if you like the video.
Check out Instagram and Twitter if you want to as well. And as always, guys, bear down.